Nothing's entirely wrong Kick the hole in the game Before multiple views By time be gone Gotta be strong When you're popping The paparazzi form Sliders singing In your local precinct When you start rapping like that It is area with 51 Everything in the butterflies Go get your man And I feel like so all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. Do you know what it is, man? Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc. etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. If you like what we got on RiceGameClothing.com for the merchandise, you heard me right. Salute to everyone who caught merchandise yesterday. People have been asking me for like the last year about merch, about merch, about merch, and you know, I had to get it together and get it right and bring it out the way that I wanted to for myself, the look, SP, and it's out, man. We got a lot of dope stuff out there, so you know what I'm saying? Even got the bracelets. People was asking me about the bracelets that my daughter makes. We put them on the site. Every so you throw the sweater on, but then we get the bracelet on, it kind of just sets it off a little bit more. So shout out to my daughter for her collection. She got a bunch more, you know what I'm saying? Like this divider fly, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't get up with this one, you know what I'm saying? Like that's another one, but it's more. But this one right here is the one. It's out there, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to everybody who supports the brand more than just watching. Watching is great. Trust, ho, 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 hey, ho. Watch, 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 watch this. I'm with that. But the folks who go above and beyond and do things like Patreon or purchase merchandise. Uh, we definitely appreciate y'all too, but I appreciate everybody who watches this, but shout out to, to, the, to the gang. So, if you haven't heard, you know what I'm saying, um, Loaded Lux and Hitman Holla have been having a back and forth. There have been conversations. There have even been spaces. They got Loaded Lux in spaces. Bro, I swear to God, I was on Twitter just a few minutes ago, right? And Lux had added me. First of all, they got Lux to add me. I don't even know how this happens. Lux ain't never... I didn't even know Lux how I knew how to use the Twitter, first and foremost, but if you look, this nigga is in spaces right now. When you look at the, the purple joint around the name, he's actively in spaces right now as we speak. I don't know what they're talking about. It really don't matter because I, got a, I already got the information that I need to proceed. So shall we proceed? Yes, I will proceed. In the daytime, like, <laughs> Lux don't do social media. If you know like I know, he's not really much of a social media person. He'll say what he says, but he added me today after he made a tweet that says, um, Hitman Holla said something first. It was about being sick. It's two overlapping patrols about three minutes apart. So we just gotta be fast. Yo, I think we should plan this another time. This nigga's scared! Ain't nobody scared, man. I just told you I had a DJ Saturday Fuck night. Fuck that shit! We're going Saturday night, and that's it. I don't believe this, you know what I'm saying? Trust me, I do not believe Hitman Hollis is afraid about Lord Lux. I just seen him in the blue room versus Ill Will. He did phenomenal. So I don't got that that thought notion or, you know what I'm saying, in my mind. I'm just letting you know everybody. So let's not do that. He says, scared. The culture said they didn't want the battle. I said, cool, don't gotta tell me twice. The culture wanted Lux versus Rum. Give the people what they want. You ducking the alien at Loaded Lux. So there was polls that were made and put out to see which battle did people want to see Loaded Lux in next. A lot of the results, I didn't make one, but I saw a lot of the results were saying that they wanted Loaded Lux versus Rum Nitty over a battle versus Loaded Lux and, and Hitman Holla, right? So the thing about Hitman, I fought with Hitman, you know what I'm saying? I just seen Hitman battle Ill Will. Um, it was a dope battle. He had a one of them game-changing performances that enhance and excel his career. And, you know, to see him in that element, in that bag, I thought his third, his, what was the second? His second round was crazy. His second round, he went ballistic. That was the second round. His second round was crazy. Um, but overall, he did good in the battle. And he should feel no way about his performance or take nothing off it. Don't take no cut. Don't take, don't take no cut from the product. You know what I'm saying? Keep that shit going. But what I was going to say was, is he's saying, the culture said they don't want to see the battle, cool, you don't got to tell me twice. One thing about him, and him is very prideful. He's a prideful individual. One thing I may know from observing him from afar, not saying that I'm friends with him, I don't even know him, you know what I'm saying? I know him from when I see him out and about, I say what up if I, you know, we speak and that's the end of it. But from, from what I've gained, he's a very prideful person. He doesn't seem like a person who takes second or take shorts or is one of them people like I couldn't book who I wanted to so do you want to battle this weekend he does not strike me as that person there are a lot of people who are they could be not booked get a call and battle this Sunday because they need the money or they're just not the draw Hitman has always been a draw he's always got the attention he's always got the notoriety actually when Lux took battle rap to like 
helped take battle rap to the next form or the next level or help you get commercialized and help brands get behind it and shit like that from the battles that he was doing hitman was definitely one of the people that benefited from it i don't he benefited when them st louis dudes came to new york and they was doing all of that my, my plane go up my angle up shoot them as guardian angel duck he's still flying that was loaded lux who brought them there for the lions then the battle against goods and all of them cats outside so lux pretty much extended the competition olive branch like we y'all are like that come to new york and battle that's how a lot of the story got started now when i say hey man's a beneficiary <clears throat> at the end of the day you gotta take advantage of your advantage if you put me in a position right to gain or to 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 build or grow or take it to the next level you better you better go all out i was given a, and i'm just gonna speak from my own personal life i was given an opportunity to uh come do an interview on Fox News and it, they just brought me up there for an interview. It was no premonition. It was no, you know, you got to sign anything. It was just an interview to see what I was doing. I know these niggas who will never be on TV, whoever they may be, they'll make their own version up of the story. And I'm just giving it to you real quick. So they brought us up there for a one-time deal just to see, you know, interview us, see us and things like that. But through the work and through what we did while we were there, that eventually landed us a show, eventually landed us a bunch of episodes, eventually landed us a 30 minute special that's coming towards the end of the year. And just continue to open the door. So what I say, you know, I got this from Deion Sanders. You practice like you play, so when you play, it's practice. Like <clears throat> when I'm here doing regular blogs and talking about things, this is practice for me. You know what I'm saying? So when I transition or go anywhere else, whether it be a pay-per-view, shout out to Chrome 23, we will be doing I Do What I Want uh, commentary with Shuni, uh, SP, Farah, and myself. I put them above me because I love all the things that all of them do and then me. I'm just assistance to them. Shout out to everyone involved with that. Remy Ma, Chrome 23, I Do What I Want. The tickets is on sale right now. You can go to guttercity.com. You can go to uh, Rap Grid. You can get the uh, pay-per-view or the tickets or whatever the case may be if you want to see the show again. But... Hitman was a beneficiary of Loaded Lux's, you know, spotting and understanding and knowing his talent. Lux helped open the door for a lot of the talent that we know to this day by his moves. Him having the Lions Den, Goods was on there, Ice was on there, Arse was on there, Tech Nine was on there. Uh, I can keep on going, rest in peace. A lot of other people was on battle through that platform and got looks through that, through other things like Dash Living, uh, Sub-Zero DVD, obviously Smack DVD, uh, and a lot of other DVDs. Because at, at the end of the day, when folks just started, there was no large social media presence. There was no social media presence. There was no, you know, you could just upload a clip on TikTok and be viral tomorrow. Or you could, you, there was none of that, you know what I'm saying? You had to work from the ground up, you know what I'm saying? Like you had to do drop videos, do views, hope people watch them. Um, and now Hitman has become a mega star, you know what I'm saying? One of the biggest names in battle rap, probably one of the highest paid in battle rap that's consistently battling uh, big names, big stages, big cards. And I felt like he definitely dumbed his flow down to jump into that small room and have a great battle with Will. I see a lot of comments, a lot of people feel like Will got it, but there's a strong contention of people that Hitman got it too. So I say that to say this. Hitman mentions being scared. <clears throat> he says, the culture said they don't want the battle. I said, cool, you don't got to tell me twice. The culture wanted Lux versus Rum. Give the people what they want. Lux responds, man, cut the sh. You confront for them. We bout big actions. I'm going to clip all y'all for real. But if you bout the culture like you say, then you know it's about star-studded matchups, my man. Let's make some noise. And yeah, I said it. You scared, nigga? We all, we do, we all got to tell you twice. Lux is talking to him like, do I got to tell you twice? It seems like you scared. Is, you, is this, is this nigga scared? Is he scared? This nigga scared. That's what Lux said about uh, Hitman. And not only did Lux say that, he doubled down and added me and every other blogger to see it too. Like a lot of other bloggers, you know what I'm saying? He was like 15 minutes of fame, myself, Verb, uh, Angry Fan, Piper Boy, uh, but Hip Hop is Real. Anybody who, who's around that would see this motherfucker, he said, I said it, go talk about it. When you at me, when you at me, that's you getting at me. My advantage is to take advantage of the advantage, you know what I'm saying? So that's just what that is. I told Lux I would love to sit down with him, though, like, for real, for real. Like, we can go to, it could be the park, we can go sit up on the roof, uh, it could be in Harlem, I come up to Harlem, I, whatever, you know what I'm saying, I could do the Broadway, whatever. I want to talk to him about just his 
take on the battle rap culture, you know, whether we'll see him in regular matchups that's not like super, super, super top of the line, I gotta see you on a Drake card or only on Summer Madness and shit, like when you come down to a volume or to a max out or to a regular card and battle a nigga, I ain't seen it yet. I would love to talk to him though, so I'm, I'll make sure this gets to him. So a lot of you, so he's saying, uh, it's about the star-studded matchups, my mans, let's make some noise. That's what he's saying. I do think this matchup is being thrown around and talked about in different segments, but I don't know if it's any real motion yet because I would have probably heard a little bit more, but do I think it's impossible to happen? No, I think it could happen because it's very rarely that we get Lux saying that he wants to battle someone. You know what I'm saying? It's normally, oh God, it's Lux. him and Daylight, it should be going on four years and the battle still ain't happening yet. I don't think it's gonna happen, who knows? But him and Hitman looks like it's something that could happen because he's really, like this is like literally tweets that uh, he was saying. So. Uh, Hitman then says, stand on what y'all be tweeting, forcing Lux versus Hitman on us, cool. Let's see these other mega matches happen that y'all want so bad, boring ass battles that y'all be hyping. And he says, uh, <clears throat> he says, uh, oh, so then they get to talking about the New York versus Harlem thing, you know what I'm saying? Like New York versus, well, not New York, St. Louis versus Harlem thing. And he was talking about all of the battles that they had in the past or who beat who, and Verb is running his, you know what I'm saying, game, he's saying what he was saying. So he says, Hitman says, and T-Rex had a great one round friendly fade. Why do y'all want to use those words, beat Hitman, like it be official? Man, stop playing with me, y'all know I get active. Debatable classic with clips, debatable round, one rounder with Rex, bodied k Shine. I don't lose in Harlem. <clears throat> uh, and then, you know, I'll go back a, a little further about what, uh, what, what they were saying as far as being scared and all that other stuff, you know what I'm saying? So Verb, Verb jumps out and says, the biggest events of the year had St. Louis niggas as main events. <coughs> the biggest events of the year had St. Louis as main events, not y'all. He basically saying New York ain't got no motion. He said, y'all niggas ain't got no motion. St. Louis has been having all of the main events this year. When you think about it, Besides easy to block captain, which is Philadelphia, St. Louis been having a lot of the motion for 2023. New York, what is what is y'all niggas gonna do about it? Is what I want to know. I want to know what are y'all gonna do about it. Lux, I'm glad that you're taking a, a leadership role because the thing is, leadership, you gotta be a vocal leader. You gotta be out in front. You can't be an inside leader like you battle once a year and you're the leader of New York. That takes away from the demographic. When you look at other places like St. Louis, they're 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 Hall of Famers. This guy got a Hall of Fame career in two leagues. He's battling though, he's outside. Verb is battling, he's outside. Young Ill, he's battling, he's outside. Uh, who else? Um, B Magic is battling, he's outside. Then when you flip the coin in New York, Lux battles maybe once a year. Shine ain't battled in a month of Sundays because of the whole shit he got going on with the contract, contract, contract this, contract that. He ain't battling. Murder Mook will battle, we've seen him outside. But every, like when it comes to New York, it's always something. Like it's like, what can we get niggas that actually battle and that can represent the city, the state that don't raise their price to so high to where people ain't wanna fuck with it. It's like, oh, we'll bring them in, but oh, we gotta pay them X, Y, and Z. It'd be too much, too much, too much. We just wanna see niggas who, with no strings attached. We don't wanna have it. Oh, the only way we could battle is if it's main event on Summer Madness. Bro, we understand. Lux, battling down per se, or battling in smaller rooms or regular venues and you know, maybe not getting fucking 300,000 for a battle, you know? It makes for great fights. It does make for great fights. But if you guys price out the league, and I'm not saying, you know, listen, at the end of the day, your true value is what someone will pay you. If mother got the money to pay it to you, I feel like you worth it, period. I never tell you, I'm never gonna tell anybody that. But what I'll say is you gotta make it advantageous on the league owners. Yeah, they, well, I'm sure they would love to see y'all. But they don't want to see y'all to the point where when they book that shit, they ain't never having no... Lux didn't shut down leagues before. Lux done shut down leagues before. Has he not? Lux has, has the ability to get booked one time and you'll never see these niggas book another battle again. Ask U-Dub. U-Dub is probably still making payments on that damn Lux battle. They probably... I don't think... We, we never gonna see them again. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying when it comes to the value of the actual product that's being put out there. Yes, we want to see it, the fans want to see it, but do we want to see it to the point where we won't see the league again? <whistles> Absolutely not. But I do like Lux's courage and his bravery and wanting to be outside of battle, man, because it means a lot to us as fans to see 
the people, our heroes. I want to see those guys outside and continuing the battle. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you are definitely, uh, you know, they booked Loaded Lux. Loaded Lux was there. He definitely battled on different platforms too. But the thing is, at the end of the day, uh, and you know, he most of his battles is on URL. He'll travel out and do a U Dub or something like that. Like, like, I'm sure the bag is right. But you know, URL doesn't have Sue Surf around. Free Sue Surf. I don't. I seen um, Wyclef shot him out on the VMA saying "Free the Wave" yesterday. I thought that was amazing. Um, from what I seen and heard, his sentence and date got pushed back. I don't know till when. It was supposed to be yesterday. Obviously, you know he's got everything that he's got going on right now. And when when it pans out, whatever the case may be, I'll speak about it. But I'm not just gonna keep kicking the can, talking about a story where there's no um, requisite ending yet. So um, when it comes to uh, Verb saying. The biggest events of the year had St. Louis niggas on them as main events. Now, y'all, I told y'all to shut this nigga verb up when you had the chance. That's what I said. Shut him up. Shut him up when you have the chance. Now you have to deal with him for the rest of the fucking year. If, you, if Ward had a chance to, to silence this, you had the chance. Now, Ward and Verb is a phenomenal battle, by the way. So, uh, Verb goes on and says, me and Hitman put down... Three Kings from three New York Kings in 2018. Uh, he's saying that he beat uh, Lux and Mook. Could be debated. I had him beating Mook. The Lux is a little bit more debatable, but he, he probably got that too. And Hitman beat Rock. Hitman did beat Rock. That was that Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather funky summer madness. That was not good. Uh, the Shine joint though. I be seeing a lot of people saying that he three old body Shine. I do have him winning the battle because I remember I was there. Uh, Summer Man is six, and he said uh, Hitman came straight out and said, "You told me not to. You told Rex not to talk about your baby mother in front of your daughter, nigga. Well, I'll fuck your baby mom. Ooh, oh, that shit got kind of crazy. Trying that shit got kind of crazy. Once a nigga start around like that, on you, it's kind of hard to come back from the battle. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Uh, so." Uh, Shine said, I beat y'all all, even with the gas. Watch the battle. If you know rap, you know I whipped all of y'all. And then Holla says, LOL, gas, we was in New York. I got booed on the walkout. Stop it, Shine. Yeah, it's kind of hard to say that. <laughs> Let's think about that. <laughs> Shine, I love you. <laughs> Shine, I fuck with you, man. But you can't say here, man, was gas in New York. My nigga, you from there. <laughs> that, that just... I, now that I'm thinking about it, that just makes no sense. Hitman said that I was in New York, nigga, stop the gas. Like, no way. You're not going with that. I did have Hitman just beating him. Like, that night, Hitman was just the better rapper. I had him 2-1, though. More 2 one -ish. I ain't having a body bag, but, you know, niggas got to embellish their stats. There's nothing wrong with that. But a lot of people feel like Hitman won 3-0, body, body, body. But uh, in a, it will battle. Hitman got a lot of people that feel like he won. I think it's closer than people might have assumed. But just me, the pockets of flows and the, the, the level of material that Will was able to use was just a step above damn near everybody on that car. No slight on Hitman, but when he says that shit about the, the ox, oxymorons, like the ox, the ox will see, like, come on, we're not even about to do that. But Hitman got crazy in that blue room. Um, so, k it all started... When Verb started tweeting, because Verb be on this shit every day. He said, Harlem, want to see St. Louis with no crowd? Nah, that ain't for y'all. Then Verb said, at k Shine, the same year Hitman stopped you and Rock, the same year I got 3-0 chance for Lux and Moo, and we both from St. Louis, and that's three of y'all down by two niggas in the same year. Bars, you know what I'm saying? Verb is standing on his wins, as he should. Like, he should stand on it, especially the Moo. I had him beat Moo 2-1. But uh, he going to stand on that, and y'all going to have to... Uh, deal with what comes out of it but my my overall question is do we want to see a st louis versus uh harlem card like mix them all up and have not no rematches battles that didn't happen and stuff like that maybe you could do like a, a fucking hitman versus lux and you know you could remix it and give uh yeah, you can do a hitman versus lux that ain't never happened you could take verb verb done battle damn near everybody from harlem but it don't have to be harlem it kind of be like a new york type thing you know what i'm saying i think it'd be st louis versus new york because they, they a lot of them the battle already um, Shine battle verb, that was a body, run it, walk through him. Uh, Rex battle verb, them shotgun shells is red and lime green. When I'm squeezed, I leave a Gucci crime scene. Ooh, that was a body too. Ten thou, I kill this nigga for real. Verb got some PTSD about all of them, man. Gonna hold you, I fuck with you, Verb, but all of them got over on you. <laughs> Charlie Clips, 
all of them got over on you, my brother. So you need to you need to beat somebody from Harlem because all of them got over on uh, on Verb. That was, that was back in the days though. Like niggas, Harlem was clipping everybody back then. They ain't like that no more though. So I don't know how it would go if if they came back around. But uh, they talking. This is talk. Hitman talking. Uh, who else? Hitman's running his shit. Uh, fucking Verb is talking his shit. Lux is talking his shit. And Lux at me. I'm like, who else? I had to make all like Lux. Well, Lux don't at nobody. I don't even think he followed me on Twitter. I followed him today though. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little Hollywood. I'm like, you don't follow me. I ain't following you, but now that's my man. Uh, so, but I was kind of shocked when I saw it, and it made me uh, get down here and speak. But overall, I just want to say uh, shout out to every single one of y'all out there. Shout out to all 80 something thousand subscribers, all the millions and millions of views. Shout out to the network, Fox. Uh, shout out to all of my partners out there. Black His and Hers is a company that I've been working with to get my brand back on the line. Shout out to him. Uh, just shout out to everybody out there that, that fucks with what we got going on and my brother Showtime SP. We definitely have an event coming up in the next two days. Uh, we dropped the full predictions yesterday. Remy was happy with them. She saw them. Um, and we just kept helping keep them push the culture forward and things like that. You know what I'm saying? I, um, you know, I'm glad that y'all watched it. I'm glad I got to say shit. I ain't really got no jewelry on today. Just my daughter's bracelet. You know what I'm saying? So if you like what I got on, go to RiceGameClothing.com. Um, support the merchandise. You know, cop something. Okay, you know, we might. I'm gonna probably bring some smaller things for kids, and you know, clean stuff. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, I was watching battle rap stuff like that. Nothing too bad that they could wear to school and stuff. Cause I've been asked about that. Uh, probably bring some workout material, cause I work out damn near every day now. You know what I'm saying? And we just gonna keep this thing going. The trucker hats is on the way. A lot, I got a lot of things in the loop. But uh, shout out to Fox Five. We will be back soon, and um, it is what it is. Gang, 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 it on bang. I like it. Harlem's outside. I like it. Whenever Harlem's outside, it's a good thing. Or what, or what, or what, what, what game? RiceGangClothing.com, motherfucker. Since Holly wrong, kicked a hole in the game before multiple views by Tommy gone. Gotta be strong when you're popping the paparazzi for